Hello and welcome to an update of the blue worms, the red wigglers, and the European night crawlers. We're going to start the update with the blue worms. And uh, we can see that this bin is getting close to um, being prepared for harvest, actually. There's a few pieces of bedding left, and the majority is, of course, castings. Um, I think I've mentioned before that I don't like to let the, the material in the bin stack up so high that I can't do my horizontal migration because, you know, what I do is I pile all the material uh, to one side and then uh, feed the, uh, the opposite side only and let the worms migrate. Well, if I pile the material up, it's going to be quite high. So I have to maintain a certain um, level in the bin so I don't go too much over, making it difficult for me then to pile up the finished material. But um, I'm gauging here that these guys are probably, yeah, going to uh, to need to do a migration pretty soon. I think I fed somewhere here as well, but I'm not sure now. I know I fed there. The material is wonderful, as always, always so predictable, nice and flaky, and uh, this is sprouting. Very easy to sift. So these guys are, are doing an awesome job composting everything I give them. So you can see here bedding. Let's see how they, they did. Hope I'm not blocking the light. Oh yeah, that's where they are. Lively, lively little worms. Yeah, these blue guys are, look at them move. Absolutely incredible. Fast, fast, fast guys. So let me see what I'm going to do since we do have still some bedding here that I want these guys to work over. I don't want to add any more bedding. So I'm thinking, um, yeah, I might feed in this area here, close to the other one and see how they do. So I'll just lay down some food. I'm not going to lay down any more bedding. I'm sure it's going to be just fine. Because the material is not wet, I don't have to worry about added, added bedding. But I am going to give them some eggshell for grit. And I'm going to cover this up. Yeah, I want to think about getting this bin ready for for harvest, probably will take maybe a couple more weeks before I, I'll start doing that. But these guys are fed and uh, we can go over to the red wiggler bin. Let's see how these guys are doing. So here is the red wiggler bin. <laughs> and I have to say that it looks, uh, almost identical to the blue worms. And they've been going side by side. And I think we even harvested them pretty much at the same time. So 
Uh, for those who want to know if blue worms compost better than red wigglers or red wigglers compose uh, better than blue worms, I would say they're about the same, honestly. Based on what I'm seeing here, I think they're neck and neck. So either one or a combination of both, it's absolutely fine. And in the reproduction game that I did, you also saw that um, I think the red wigglers came in second. So as far as um, reproducing, they reproduce pretty much the same. So you can't, you can't really lose either way whatever you have. It's just that these guys are less finicky than the, uh, than the blue worms. They tolerate a larger temper uh, temperature fluctuation. So we had, a, I think, an egg carton here. Yeah, I know we did. Corn and egg carton. Well, I'm not seeing anything of the egg carton. If you look to my previous videos, you know I put a whole egg carton in here. Yeah, nothing left. So they did they did good with that. Looks like they have spread out because the food is also gone. And uh, the corn, yep, they pretty much killed that too. So the material has been fluffed up, and uh, they're they're you know, ready to, to get fed, but I'm thinking I'm going to do the same thing in here as I did in the other bin, is I might be thinking of getting it ready for harvest. So no bedding, no bedding yet. Let them work over the material they have. I'm going to feed, I think, area here. That will be good. And I, again, I'm going to just lay down some kitchen scraps. You have to these guys, so tiny, constantly hitching rides. I said another one. Oh, here we go. Yeah, don't want to take you guys out of the bin. So, yeah, harvest to harvest. These guys are fast. Love that. We have a nice worm ball in there. Go market. Yeah, these guys are doing an awesome job with the castings. Just amazing, amazing. So they're done. And by the way, you do notice how they move, right? Compared to the blue worms. I mean, look at this. They hardly move. Slow and easy. That's the red wigglers. So let's go over to the uh, European night crawlers now. And here are the European night crawlers. Now I still see the uh, egg carton. Now, both the blue worms and the red wigglers got the same egg carton and it's, it's done. These guys still have it, how interesting. Let's see, and the corn, yeah, the corn looks pretty well eaten through. Here they are, well, some of them in any case. Right, guys. So these are some of the larger ones. But if I was to take one of these guys and compare it to one of my Titans, oh, stop, stop, stop crawling. Uh, you would see how much smaller these guys are. They just don't, the second generation, third generation, they just don't get as big in bins as, uh, as they do in my outdoor bins. That I already 
observed. So there, oh, there's some more in here. And they've got plenty of bedding. So although we are definitely not going to get this bin ready for harvest, there is more than enough bedding in here where I don't need to, to add anything. Just fluffing the material up. Getting all these guys super pissed at me. Right, babies? You are mad at me. Okay, so I think I'm going to feed here. I don't need to put down any bedding. So let me just get these guys the same melon. Love melon. There you go. It's still a little cold from the refrigerator, but. These guys are also fed. Oh, nice! They settled down rather quickly. My uh, my Titans don't do that. It takes them a while to settle down. These guys. So they are done as well. So that's uh, another update. Now let me see if I can do a side by side of the European night crawlers from this bin compared to the, the one, the Titans. Let me see if I can uh, wrangle them up for you. So I hope you can see the difference in the two. This guy is my Titan. And this is a full, fully mature, the largest one that I could find from my, oh, stop crawling around. So you can see that, <laughs> yeah, right, Leah, good luck. Um, you can see that um, the size is, there is a, a difference in size in these guys. I mean, they can get big, but definitely not as large. Oh, you can't. There you go, go back in there. Uh, definitely not as large as they do from, uh, from my outdoor uh, garden bed. Just wanted to show it to you there. Uh, okay, that's our update. Um, thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.